Hello and welcome to this new tutorial about how to use UGT Ultra Game Template. And we're going, these are actually going to be three tutorials about how to do console ports and everything that you need to know from the easiest level to the hardest level. Okay, so the first part, which is actually super easy, if you want to make console ports or configure settings per platform, you just need to go to Ultra Game Template and then you need to open UGT Game Instance. Okay, and here. What you need to know, know is that you have, we have two graphs, the event graph, which is actually super empty, and then we have platform, platform specific video configuration. Okay. Uh, vale. Uh, here in platform specific video configuration, we have two blocks. One block, which is, is the, this is the juicy part. Okay. And then we have a little function over here. Let's start with a little function over here, because this function is something, it's a function that is going to get called through UGT. Okay. You don't have to worry about calling this function whatsoever. And what essentially this is going to do is your test platform or the test platform or current platform that you are playing in. And it's going to switch the configuration depending on that platform. So for example, in, in, uh, in a PC, we're going to configure PC video, which is this over here. Okay. In Nintendo Switch, we're going to configure the Nintendo Switch video, etc., etc. Okay, and as you can see, here are all the platforms, and even you can configure video per platform. So, for example, in PS5, if we can have PS5 performance and PS5 fidelity, so that's super easy. All right. So let's continue analyzing this. Um, now let's go check this block one by one and what is happening. So the first uh, op uh, the first red node is what it's calling the option and th this red node is called through here. Okay. And then at the end we have the set UGT video, which is the function that just take care of setting all the variables and all the console commands uh, to the video to get effect. Why we are doing this this way? Well, we are doing this this way because uh, we're setting things that are not uh, just accessible in user setting.ini. And I think this is a more tidy way to have everything in one place, okay, without uh, having to edit any.ini or the user settings or whatever. Use console commands in a certain order, and that's it. So, for example, let's uh, take a look at how we set things um, in PC. And we have three big nodes, so let's start analyzing each of them one by one. The first one is configure resolution and frame rate in batch. This is actually super simple. We set up a resolution, a frame rate limit, and we choose an anti-aliasing method, okay? But in PC, we, are, we even have another extra setting, which is max supported resolution. And what this actually does, this is very interesting because in my case, I have a 4K monitor, but I have uh, the resolution of my desktop not to be 4K, but uh, 1440p and if you choose this and here you use use desktop resolution what this is going to do is uh, is unreal engine is going to get your desktop resolution and put it the same in the game uh, if you also select this and then you put max screen resolution my, even if i have my desktop at 1440p this is going to set the resolution to 4k because that's the maximum supported resolution of my monitor okay but for the other platforms, we don't have to worry about this. This is always false. And for example, in Steam Deck, this is false. And we always set the resolution to a fixed number. In this case, the resolution of the Steam Deck. Okay. The frame rate limit, uh, there's nothing more to be said here. These are the usual frame rates. And you can choose uh, what uh, frame rate to put here. Okay. The anti-aliasing is self-explanatory too. And then we enter the uh, set of scholars in batch. Essentially, you need to choose here what upscaler do you want to use for that platform. So, for example, uh, in Steam Deck, we use FSR because Steam Deck have, has an AMD GPU, okay? But you could choose per platform if you want DLSS, Temporal Super Resolution, which is Unreal Engine 5 uh, own solution method. I don't really like this one, but it's, again, it's up to you if you want to use it. Or simple upscaling, which is just simple screen... Uh, screen percentage okay and then you can configure things but for, of course if you're using fsr it doesn't matter what you configure in dlss because it's not going to to take uh, effect it's just going to use the fsr settings all right um, for pc this is a little bit special but we will see that in a little tutorial because the upscaling method we are going to make a function that actually detects if we have an amd gpu or we have a dlss gpu and then it's going to automatically configure the upscaling method for you this way and again these are the, just the base settings if 
when the player has not saved the video settings. So uh, even if we give the settings for default on PC, the player could actually go here in the PC video settings menu, it's changed a lot of settings. This, these are just the starting settings, okay? Okay, and uh, that's really it. And you can configure all video per platform or even video per different modes like PS5 performance on PS4 fidelity. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et and that's really it. That's how you make all the video configurations. Uh, make sure to always change the resolution to the maximum supported resolution. Okay. But now we are going to go a little bit further down the line and see how we can adapt our menus or extra menus to each and every one of those platforms. And again, this is actually super easy. So, for example, uh, let's go to Ultra Game Template menus and we go to UGT setting menus. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, but okay, but for whatever reason, we don't want to show the audio menu in Nintendo Switch because you don't want to uh, allow users to configure the audio settings, okay? So in each and every button of UGT in the menus, we have a little option here, which is enable int. And if you expand this, you will see where this is enabled. And for example, I'm going to disable Nintendo Switch. And what is going to happen if I disable Nintendo Switch? Well, what is actually going to happen is if I go to the menu and settings, oh, I'm seeing audio here. Why? Remember, we need to choose what platform are we testing in. So in the full game data asset, what you need to do is come here and test platform instead of PS4, we're going to choose Nintendo Switch. And if I choose Nintendo Switch, as you will see in setting, now I don't have any setting for audio. So that's another awesome way to disable certain menus or certain buttons in certain platforms, which is fantastic. Um, okay, that's one way to start messing uh, things per platform. But then we have another very interesting one, which is in the default game data asset. Okay, we also can configure some things per platform. So, uh, uh, we have seen this in previous tutorials, but I'm just going to the, repeat the specific part for this section over here because we can have comma separated console commands per platform. So if you want certain console commands to be applied only in Nintendo Switch, you should do that here. Okay. And then obvious, obviously the test platform is what platform do you want to test? Fantastic. Uh, the nomenclature of the buttons and everything is done automatically for you. You don't have to worry about that. Everything is preset for you. And if I'm Nintendo Switch, all in the Nintendo Switch inputs are going to be shown. Okay. But if we keep going down, we keep going down. We have a very important thing here. By the way, the social links also get disabled on consoles. And we have here, which is the intro slide. So for example, the uh, intro slide for Unreal Engine, we are showing this in each and every platform. Okay. And this slide on Real Engine is, is this one. So slide on Real Engine. So it's just this slide at the beginning. Okay. And let's imagine that I don't want to show the slide porting in Nintendo Switch because I have actually done the port myself for Nintendo Switch. Okay. So I'm going to set this to false. And this is going to be this slide. This, this is just a widget at the beginning. Okay. And remember, if we want to try the launcher menu, uh, we need to make sure we are in development mode here, development mode, okay, test platform Nintendo Switch. And as you can see now, if I go to open level, maps, UGT launcher map, let me save this in a second. As you can see here, I have publishing, but not porting. On the other hand, on the other hand, if I go again to the default game data asset and I reactivate that in another platform. So let's make sure, okay, the slide porting is, it is actually activated on PS4. If I go down, if I go up again in, and I click here instead of Nintendo Switch PS4, as you will see, the slide for porting, there you go, it is appearing here. So that's fantastic. That's another thing that you can actually configure per platform and it is super useful. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, this is very interesting. So these are the additional platform loading screen time. I'm going to test this with Nintendo Switch because it's the one that is going to be more obvious. But if I go down here again, okay, you will see that Nintendo Switch has uh, four seconds. Let me put this to six. 
And what does this actually do? Let me go to the to the main menu. It's going to be quicker. And I'm in a new game. Let's play OK. And let's go here. And as you can see, when I click continue, it's going to take a while to load. It's going to take a while. That is totally OK. And it's totally done on purpose. Why? Now it is loading and I'm playing uh, same as always. OK. Uh, this is done because there are some platforms that are slower to load and once we travel to a new map we want to make sure that every shader, every texture and every model is loading so we give extra time that even if the player is in the new map we still show the loading screen uh, to allow Unreal Engine to give some time for everything to finish loading okay and you can actually configure that per platform if i instead of nintendo switch six seconds i put nintendo switch zero seconds as you will see this is going to be almost instant click continue okay the loading is taking place and bam we are here okay the most performant uh, platform should have a uh, additional loading time but this is something that really you should uh, check in your own game and check per platform okay let me set this to the default of four and really that's it uh, that's it for the default game data asset there's one last thing that we need to check and again we are testing this on nintendo switch okay if i go to my style data asset there is a section here okay where is the text 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 uh main text font style where is it let me search for size okay platform text size scale so here you can actually also define the additional text size from zero to one of your uh, per platform settings what does it mean so for example in nintendo switch i'm showing the text at 0 0.5 their original size if i set this to zero i'm getting very small buttons and text okay on the other hand if i set this to 0.5 or 0.6 the text in nintendo switch are actually bigger and you can configure this per the data style asset so that's fantastic you could even force things a bit and say this to for example to one and things are going to be crazy big okay but this is not something that you do should you should uh, really do but anyway if you want to do it it's something you can do but everything is going to do super cramped uh but anyway oh and if the texts are super big but they don't fit in the menu like for example additional UI text add as you can see the text is going to auto adapt and make smaller okay and that's another thing that you can configure that and that's really it with all these options you can really configure the console ports to best suit your needs and that's something fantastic okay so let's leave it here and in the next porting tutorial we'll go into see how can we make additional performance or fidelity modes to other uh, consoles or platforms.